afternoon, my fellow scientists. It is Sunday, June 10th, 2018, and I want to talk to you all about the iron battery, but also about some of the other uses to which we have been putting our laser cutter. So let's go over and look at the progress on the iron battery. Nico's back this week. He's been working hard on fabricating some little test cells we're going to use to compare iron battery membranes. So the test cells look like this guy right here. You can see it's watertight. That's the water in there. And we're going to use that test cell to test membranes. We're going to make them out of paper as a base. We're going to treat them with Nafion and with some other polymers and find out what membrane is going to be the best value, cost, performance that we can get. But we're fabricating these little test cells out of acrylic using this laser cutter. So we bought this Boss laser cutter about six months ago. I think it's performed really well so far. You can see it initialize and move its laser head right there. Once it's in position, it's ready to go. So we'll go grab a little bit of this one millimeter acrylic. I buy mine from AliExpress, which is kind of a random vendor. It comes with this opaque white protective coating on it, which is extremely satisfying to remove. Once you get that positioned under a laser head, you want to make sure it's focused. That's done uh, by a, a control on this panel. You load up your design, you hit go, make sure the cover is closed or the laser won't fire, and you can see the laser head translate as it goes through the motions of cutting my design. Now, once that design is done, I take it over here to this heated press, put it in a little jig with some spacers, press it at about 150 degrees C for 10 to 15 minutes with a acrylic cover, and then it's ready to go on a microscope. You can see that same design all printed up and ready to go. I use a gas tank to pressurize that, and it drives that red and blue fluid through the chip. Now, it's hard to see, so I'm going to turn on the little light on the microscope here, but when that red oil and that blue water mix, it makes these tiny little droplets that you can see moving. I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit and try to get a better view, but through the microscope you can see blibs of water coming off in the oil, and there's an even clearer view of it. So, this makes microfluidic, micro-sized droplets of water in oil and we're using that for a whole bunch of things in other projects. So I hope that was an amusing look into some of the other activities that we do here in the Allen lab. Laser cutters are incredibly useful tools for all kinds of prototyping iron batteries and microfluidics. Next week we'll be back with performance data on a couple of different membranes and we will be able to tell what kind of membrane we want to use going forward for the final design that we will hopefully be getting ready to publish here in the next month or so. So if you like that kind of thing, tune in every week. We update on the iron battery and with occasional digressions right here in the Allen Lab.